Okay, I'm back on my review table. Yay, five months and a couple of weeks and I'm back on the table. And we're going to take a look inside uh, Bindi's home here, Bindi the Redback Spider. And it was just a couple of days ago, I added a praying mantis in here. And it might be very interesting to take a look at what's going on inside. You Warning. The warning on this video has been removed and this video is highly educational. Well, first up I can see the mantis there. And take a good look at that mantis. Do you think it looks any bigger than what we saw before? I don't want to quite lose the mantis yet. I'll just gently get the mantis down into the tank. It's trying to escape. I think they're quite intelligent actually. In fact, I'll just flip to some images from four days ago when I put the mantis in this tank and um, yes, yeah, so that might be the best way to see what's going on to see if we can see a change. Now I'm going to come in for a search for Bindi the Redback Spider. I'm sorry, my camera is stuck in P mode. It's basically like a smart auto mode. Uh, I can't see Bindi there. And Bindi used to love to reside underneath here. There's a big cockle roach there, a giant thing actually. Just having a nice look up inside all those little areas there. Okay, we'll look over the other side again. Hmm, there's some sort of thing there, but I don't think that's anything to do with redback spiders in the middle there. Hmm, I can't find Bindi at all on that piece there. <laughs> I noticed the last moth Bindi caught in the tank, it's still hanging there, but it looks like it hasn't been fed from or bound in web. The other place Bindi loved to reside was up in the metalwork corners, let's go and inspect those, okay that one's clear. Another corner of the tank, it is also clear. There's another corner of the metal structure, it's clear as well. The penthouse corner here with the double floor, it's also clear of Bindi. And of course there was a crisscross in the middle there, well sadly it's clear as well. We've had a good look at Bindi's normal haunts in the tank here. I can't see her at all, maybe we're going to have to check down on the ground. Maybe it's best if I clear this off and we will take this out here just to double check Bindi's not hiding in there. Well, she's nowhere to be seen. That is totally clean apart from a giant cockroach. In fact we'll get the cockroach down in the tank. Okay, just clear that, off, clear that off of everything, and I'm just going to try and look down without looking through glass and see what we can see down on the ground. I'll do it like this, looking down between the legs. I've put crickets in here today, and that's when I uh, had the revelation of what's going on. Having a good look there, we're looking for, well, Bindi. Bindi the Redback Spider. There's another section of the floor of the tank. There's a lot of things going on down there. There's uh, all sorts of critters down there. If you've got a keen eye for critters, there's another section on the floor of the tank. I'm working our way around to where I put the food in today. We're looking for a spider, spider legs, spider body. And this is the last look at the floor of the tank with the food that I put in today and the happy crickets. They're looking for a spider, I can't see it. And sure, I've checked underneath the veggies here. Okay, we've got a few little tomatoes. Uh, that there is what the crickets come with. Is there sort of their food supplement in their box? Uh, I can't see a spider anywhere. I'm not finding Bindi, but I can certainly find a rather plump looking praying mantis. But I can also see, well, quite a large cockle roach. Hmm, I wonder if it eats redbacks. So I can only assume that the mantis is uh, licking its legs there because, well, Bindi was finger licking good in a praying mantis way. They're quite menacing to watch praying mantises and the way they move and their head movements and they're very interesting indeed. And in a strange way, I've well, lost a pet redback spider, but I've gained quite a miraculous praying mantis as a wonderful pet. Interesting thing about them, if I put my finger near a mantis, look how aware it is of my finger. See that? It just follows it round. They're quite stunning to watch. And, um, yes, well, I thought the redback spider was going to be the victor, but I really think, and the mantis now loves me, um, the mantis has been the victor, and inside the mantis there, I do believe Bindi, well, became a wondrous meal. Now, I think the reason why I can't find a remnants of Bindi is when mantises eat, I hope I'm correct here, they basically eat the lot. I remember watching videos 
other people have done of mantises eating spiders and I do believe that the mantis when it's eaten bindi has left nothing behind they're stunning to look at aren't they mind you I did prefer to look at bindi that was my personal choice the mantis loves to climb up because I noticed in the days it was in here it was only a few days it loved to hang from the top and I can only assume that um, Bindi's made a fatal error of coming out of where she was hiding and the mantis would have struck very fast. So I'm surprised at the outcome. I did think Bindi was going to uh, be the victor. I thought I'd come out and basically only find well, the mantis strung up in the web and parts of it left behind. Uh, but I've got a very, very strong suspicion that, um, well, Bindi is inside the mantis there. The mantis has won. The one thing I notice about the mantis is it can bite its way out of the redback spider's web. I've seen that also when I did that uh, redback spider. It was John Cena and Ver versus mantis. So um, if you don't get affected by the web and get caught up in it, that's a great ability to have, especially when you're up against such a, a dangerous and deadly spider. I hope that counts as scientific, educational, whatever else, or else you know, these videos get demonetized. Let me just take a look at the, um, the little date booklet here of what was going on. Okay, it was the 25th of May when uh, the mantis was put into Bindi's zone. I came and looked twice a day, at the beginning of the day, end of the day. It was okay on the 26th, okay on the 27th, but it was the end of the day on the 28th. And I put the crickets in, that's when Bindi disappeared. So the 28th of May in Australia, we're right on the cusp of winter, and I can double check it by checking my phone there. Okay, there it is there. Tuesday the 28th of May. At least I can put the mantis uh, on my hand. I don't think I'd be playing that game with Bindi the Redback Spider. Yeah, they're, um, they're, they're actually wonderful things. They're very hard to find in nature because they actually camouflage so well into the environment. It, uh, you, can, well, you can easily walk past them and you never see them. You've got to have very, very keen eyes to spot a mantis where it's uh, lurking around to catch something to to pounce on, and I think that camouflaging they do is uh, much of their wondrous trick. I notice the mantis is very persistent in climbing the glass and getting to the top, Well, they like to hang upside down to do their dirty work. Maybe we need to give mantis a name. Now, Winter Knight called uh, the Redback Spider Bindi Bindi. Maybe we can let someone else have a, a go at naming this wonderful mantis. It's my new pet. Bindi's with us in spirit. She's actually uh, caught up in there. I think she's down in that part of the mantis right now. So believe me, I have looked very carefully for some sort of evidence of Bindi the Redback Spider. I can't find a leg. And I know the components that I'm looking for. I know what they look like. I know, notice that uh, a little, well we haven't got a name yet, little mantis keeps wanting to get out. And if we're going to name mantis, well I think we can be more inventive than Bindi too. So uh, give a very good thought to a nice name for that wondrous mantis and I'll just try and gently get it down to the bottom again. And I can close the tank up. I'll tell you what crickets, you're going to have to be very careful in there because uh, there is a very, very trained killer on the warpath. Just looking back on the dates, I put the mantis in on the afternoon of the 25th, so that's one day, two days, so really three days. It's all done and dusted. I'll start to put this back together and imagine the rage if I put a video camera over that. Oh, you can't show that on YouTube anymore. That was shocking. That was nature. Oh, oh. I mean, sadly, that's the way this side is bent. Uh, I think I think maybe Google slash YouTube are waking up to the fact it was a fail move. If you're wondering how old was Bindi the Redback Spider before she became the Mantis's meal, let's just maybe go back to Halloween of last year when she was a spiderling. We don't exactly know. Up to now when she became the meal, I think she got up to about seven months old. Give or take a month. The mantis is having a rest bite on the metal structure there. That was, uh, well, the redback spider's old favourite haunt. It's now the praying mantis's new haunt. I'll finish off the video and I'll go back and look at the comments on the video where I introduced the mantis to the tank here. We'll see who predicted the outcome. And we'll give a nice shout out to those people. I'm sorry for the uh, shonky camera exposure and stuff the camera is stuck on one mode and that is p mode and i explained that in the other video didn't i okay let's do those shout outs the first comment i read is an important one it's from mummy tuber and he or she says youtube is sensitive against lots of words 
So for that reason, I'll only be talking to channel names here, not what they say in their comments. You could read the comments. If I read these comments, there are some trigger words in there, I'm sure. Okay, the first person who saw the future is Whacked Man. Thank you, Whacked Man. You make a lot of comments on my channel. You saw the Mantis is awesome. The next person is Recon Ranger. Yes, Recon Ranger, you saw the awesomeness in the Praying Mantis. Obviously, I was putting money against Bindi and I got it wrong. The next person is Robin Pickham. I hope I'm saying it correct there, Robin Pickham. Yes, you saw the Praying Mantis is a very, very, very intense little critter. The next person is Israel Hoffman. Thank you very much for making that comment and predicting that the Mantis is going to win. The next person is Daniel Kirshner. Ah, sounds like a subcontinental name, but who knows where people live. You predicted the Mantis wins and the Mantis did win. The next person and the last person is Bexter29. Well done in seeing that the Praying Mantis is totally awesome. Lots of people made comments that Bindi was going to win in the way I saw it because, as we learned, Bindi is a major, major survivor up to this point because Bindi was the last surviving Redback Spider in what was Spider Tank 2.0 and many, many Redback Spiders, well, let's just say, are no longer with us, but Bindi did remain and that was one of the mysteries about Bindi the Redback Spider. And if you don't learn something in that, my crikeys, do I get into a stack of trouble these days on Jipper Tube. Okay, something really, really strange happens in the tank after this point here. I was going to tack it onto this video, but it would basically double the length of this video, and that would crucify this video on YouTube. And anyway, the video's crucified already because of the things that I show and say in the video. I don't think anybody has made a comment about what's going on in the tank that I didn't see coming. When I show you what's happened in the tank next, it's going to have you totally rethink what I've shown you in this video. And I'm going to need some people in the audience who have some really, really good bug eyes and people who know the entomology to solve a major mystery that happens in what is known as Spider Tank 2.0. So if you think you really know your stuff and you know what you're looking at when you're looking at bugs and critters and whatnot, please tell me what happens next. And what I'll do is I'll feature some of the comments that explain the best ideas and theories of what happens next. That would be a very nice thing to do. Yes, you can be comical if you want, but please keep the comments clean. There's many words that I can't say out loud on SillyTube.